So hello everybody. Um, welcome back to the IWC Urban Homestead. And today um, we're going to take the time to plant our sweet potato slips. Um, and unlike past years where we have grown our own slips and we've done a couple of little videos along that way, um, and we'll probably do a, a, a few more just to show you how you can do your own. We decided to support one of our local permaculture home, homestead urban farms as well, and that's the plant pad. So my friends there, I actually um, have gotten some sweet potato slips from them. We have these all nicely wrapped up, and we have two different types here. We have the yellow uh, or orange Beauregard um sweet potatoes and then we also have the purple uh, both of which are, are fairly sweet potatoes sweet potato um, but the Beauregard tends to be very big it can get very 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 big so so we're getting ourselves a little bit of a head start or or late start if you will depending on how you look at it but we have a number of these here so I'm, I'm very excited to try out their slips because these folks have been uh, growing sweet potatoes for a number of years and also uh, creating slips which they actually sell so go make sure you go check them out um, that's the plant pad and they're in Middleton America um, so so there are a couple things that we decided to do this year even though we've been fairly successful and and, and growing our own sweet potatoes here um, after going through the experimentation of, of growing our own slips. Um, we wanted to make sure that we really prepared a really nice space for these sweet potato slips this year. So we've got this really, really nice deep box here. And within this box, we have um, shoveled some of our own compost in here so we do our own compost on the, on the site utilizing all of the green matter that's here when we do chop and drop um, any of the brown matter which you know, are the leaves and branches and uh, wood chips and things of that nature and then we also use our own uh, kitchen scraps which I'm vegan so that tends to stay, stay uh, fairly clean and then, of course, once we um, probably at some point in time, we have a plan to um, introduce rabbits and uh, chickens here. Uh, so we'll probably be utilizing some of that as well. But the compost that we have been making has been really working out quite nicely. So with uh, in addition to that, we generally bring in some mushroom compost, which we do have some of that in here as well and uh, we also add garden regular garden soil to this as well as some um, perculite and vermiculite which this is that's really good because it helps to keep the moisture um, within the in the bed um, retain any type of moisture so that you know you have good moisture you have the nitrogen component in there with the mushroom soil um, and the composting, of course, is bringing in additional nutrients and things of that nature. So, so we have a really, really nice mix in here. And what I'm going to do um, once we get through this particular segment is I'm going to take the time to mix everything up in here and then show you the actual planting of the slips because we're going to be really take our time with this, plant them space uh, nicely spaced so they have their roots have enough, lots of space to to just stretch themselves out you see how tall this is and this box is probably more than three quarters full with everything in here so they're going to have all of that deep space as well as some nice space and I think I probably have about maybe 40 slips here so um, we'll have an opportunity to plant quite a number in here so stay tuned 